Hey guys, it's Body Chef Chris, and we're getting to the holiday part of the season. December. Time flew by. So, everyone's gonna start doing cookies that time of year. Baked goods everywhere. So, plan for success and make low carb keto style chocolate chip cookies of glory. All right, so we're gonna get rocking with these guys. Another simple recipe. Um, makes about 20, 30 different cookies. Easy for you to bring to a party or enjoy yourself without any guilt. First thing we're gonna do, get the butter started, get a little softening, we're gonna throw it in the kitchen and get it whipping and rolling. So, butter's getting ready to melt and go into the KitchenAid. Then we're gonna go with our almond flour. Remember, almond flour is a replacement for normal flour. All fat and fiber, no carbs, but still a lot of fun. So we're gonna start off with a cup, one cup and one fourth. We're gonna go over here to the coconut flour. Another flour, same thing, high in fiber, low in carbohydrates, same fun. We're gonna do about one fourth cup there. And actually I'm gonna add one fourth cup and one tablespoon. So from there, we're gonna add xanthan gum. All right, xanthan gum, a little baking soda. And we're not gonna use salt in this recipe because they use a salted butter. So be careful, always check your butter. If it says salted, don't add salt to the recipe or you're gonna have a salt look cookie. Horses may like it. All right, let's go on top here. All right, so as far as the butter, we have one teaspoon of vanilla. You use any kind of vanilla you want. And I'm missing something. Sugar, of course. Okay, so we're gonna use a swerve sweetener, okay? But you can use stevia, you can use xylitol. Swerve, this one is actually made for baking. So we're gonna do about a half cup in this bad boy, all right? So this swerve is the same consistency as sugar, so it actually, this one actually measures about the same as you were to use regular sugar. All right, so we're gonna bring this bad boy up and we're gonna add one egg, the mighty strength of one egg. And we're just gonna start this mixing slow. All right, the butter's all cream with the egg yolks, the vanilla, the sweetener swerve. We're gonna take the, our dry ingredients and add to the wet ingredients. Always add slow to avoid clumping. No one likes a clumpy cookie. All right, no one wants a powder of, of baking soda in their face. So, slow but steady, all right? cookie dough is glorious. It's nice and creamy and rich. From here is the easy part. It's just forming the cookies. Now, cookies, free form, whatever you want. You want big cookies, go big. You want small, go small. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna go medium size today. So the oven is preheating to 350 degrees. We're gonna get these guys all settled up on the pan here, and then these are gonna go on for about 15 minutes or until the top turns brown. Back. Oven, 350 degrees. Like I said, we're going in for 15 to 17 minutes until these guys have a little tan on them. Coming for you. All right, the chocolate chip cookies are done. All right, nice and brown on the edges. Look good. These are gonna be hard not to touch until they get cooled, but we will enjoy momentarily.